Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to edit downloaded step file with FreeCAD 1.0. Okay, let's get started. Click on open file and select the step file you have downloaded and click open. Leave the default settings and press OK. Switch to isometric view. Before making the changes, check the sizes of the part that you are planning to modify. Use this tool to measure the distances. The height of this extrusion is 30 mil. The gap between these two pads is 34 mil. The straight distance delta x is 27 mil. Record all the measurements that you will need before editing. Make sure you are on part workbench. Click on create sketch command. Leave the XY plane option and click OK. Zoom in and pick this tool to copy the external reference lines from this body. Right click to exit the command. Click on create rectangle command and draw a rectangle starting from somewhere here till here. Click on dimension command. Enter 2 mil and press OK. Close the window. Click on extrude command. and type 40 mil so it will be bigger than the existing part. Check symmetric option and click OK. We will use this extrusion to split the part into two pieces. Control select the body then the extrude and click on this tool to cut the part. Make sure the part is cut. This part is still one piece. We will split them using the export tool. Select the cut and click on this tool and select this export compound option. Now the part is separated into two pieces. I am going to move this part by 50 mil. So right click on this and select transform. Type 50. Click OK. The part is now moved to 50 mil from its origin. Now I will split the other piece using the same method. Click on create sketch command and click OK to accept the XY plane. Click on create rectangle command and pick center rectangle from the drop down. Draw a box on this axis like this. Add dimension make it 2 mil. Right click to exit the command. 
make sure this box is bigger than the width of the existing part. Close the window. Click on extrude. Type 40 and check symmetric option. Click OK. Select this first and then this one and click on this tool to make the cut. Select this and click on export compound. Expand this arrow. Now this body is separated into two pieces. I am going to move them apart. Select this, right click and select transform. Type 10. Click and drag this green arrow. Click OK. Now the part is moved to 10 mil from its origin. Do the same for the other piece. Before I move further, I'm going to export the solids as step file. This is how I clean up the model history. You will see how clean will be the new step file in few minutes. Press Ctrl and B key on your keyboard and select all the bodies like this. Go to File and Export. Type any name you like. And make sure to select this step file format. Click Save and press OK. Close this file. I will save this FreeCAD file format in case if I need it later. Let's open the new step file. Switch to isometric view. and switch to Part Design Workbench. Click on Create Body. Select this face. And click on the Shape Binder to copy the face from existing solid. Now switch to Model tab. Select the Shape Binder and click on pad command. Type 30 mil for the pad length, so it will fill the gap between the two bodies. Let's expand this arrow. As you can see, you only see the solid bodies after exporting the file as new step file. This technique removes all the unnecessary features from the model history. I do this once in a while to avoid warning messages. Now I am going to do boolean operation to join them. I normally use part workbench for boolean operations because I find it faster than part design workbench. Select the newly created pad and one of the other part and click on union command. Now select the new fusion and other part click on union command again now it became one solid body let's check the distance of this gap It's 52 mil. Switch to part design workbench. Click on create body.
and select this face. Click on Shape Binder command. Switch to Model tab and select Shape Binder. Click on Pad command and type 53 mil for the length. Click OK. Now the new pad is created. When I measured, it was 52 mil. I add 1 mil extra, so it will be inside the other body, so it doesn't matter when we union them. Whenever you're planning to use union command, it's a good practice to add little extra so both bodies are touching. Select these two. Switch back to part workbench. And click on union command. Now select these two fusions and click on Union Command. Again, I'm going to export this file as step format. I will replace the old file. Close the file. And open the new step file. Switch to isometric view. Expand this arrow. There are still two fusions in the part. We will union them again. Select both of them and click on Union Command. This time, select the model before exporting to step file. Press Ctrl and B key on your keyboard and drag the mouse like this to select all the bodies. Click on File, Export. I will save as the same name. Close the file. And open the new step file. Switch to isometry view and expand this arrow. Now you only see one fusion, so the model is nice and clear. Now I'm going to modify this radius and the hole. To do so, I will fill the area with solid block and then add fillet and hole features. Select this top face and click on create sketch command. Click OK. Change the display style to wireframe. Actually, let me close the sketch window. And drag and drop the sketch inside this body so we can copy the reference lines from this body. Double click on the sketch and click on this tool and click on these edges to copy external reference lines from the existing body. Click on create rectangle command and draw a rectangle similar to this. Draw another rectangle here. Close the window. Switch back to shaded style. Select the sketch and click on extrude command. Check this reversed option. Type 30 mil for the length which we measured before. Click OK. Now 
select the extrude and the fusion click on this command to union them save the file again as step file to avoid error messages close the file and open the new step file again Now only one solid body is here. Switch to asymmetric view. Click here to create new body. Drag and drop this fusion in the new body. Select this edge and click on this fillet command. Type 10 mil for the radius. Click on select and click these edges. Click OK. Now I will add slots instead of holes. Click on this face and click on create sketch command. Zoom in and click on this tool to add slot. Click on this axis, click again somewhere here. Type 5 mil for the radius. Click on dimension command and add the following dimensions. Click on pad command and select through all type so the slot will be placed through other side as well. Click OK. Check the model. The model is now complete. Thanks for watching my video. Please comment below if you have any questions. See you on next video.